Hi, and welcome back, everyone. We're live from the Heart of Texas Fair at the Extra Co Events Center in, in Waco. It's a full moon tonight. Fair, midway, full moon. Should we be worried? My crew is already scoping out the funnel cake stand behind me, so uh, it could be a wild evening for us. Weather, though, is cooperating. It's actually beginning to cool off a little bit. Live look from our clean Dodge Country Skylab weather camera. Better cloud cover way out on the horizon. High, thin clouds, cirrus. Nothing looks like it's going to be a big worry for us. We're looking at the fair skies area-wide. Temperatures still in the 80s, enjoying a little bit of a south and southwesterly breeze. That's one of the reasons it's been so warm. Forecast for tonight, if you're coming out, look for a low of 66 degrees. That'll occur right around sunrise tomorrow morning. So we're talking about kind of a warm, humid, uh, sultry, summer-like evening on tap for us. Looking at the temperatures of 66 in the morning, warming back up to probably around 90, maybe 92 degrees for highs tomorrow. Sunny, very hot day as the winds try to get back around to the south and southwest. That's dry air, and that dry air has got to heat up pretty quick. Dry air is a good thing because we got high school football coming up tomorrow night. Game of the week is Rockdale at Little River Academy. Uh, you won't need the sweaters in the stands this weekend, I don't believe. Looking for temperatures again, much like tonight in the 80s, cooling off into the low 70s by the time you're heading home on a Friday night from your favorite ball game. We got stuff going on down in the tropics. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but we had tropical depression form yesterday. Now that is tropical storm Nate. Nate is sitting down on the coast of Nicaragua and likely to push his way up into the uh, that narrow opening between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba. And late in the weekend could very well be a category one hurricane approaching Louisiana. That's all based on what we know right now from observations on land and from hurricane hunters in the area checking it out and, and computer models forecasting to move back towards the north. Here's your channel six seven day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Beautiful weather for us but as I said at the top of the newscast we have a pretty potent cool front pushing its way across uh, New Mexico and the Oklahoma Panhandle right now. It'll take another couple of days before it gets in here. Ho probably going to be here probably Monday evening. In the meantime, we're going to be hot and summer-like, but once the front comes through, it's going to be noticeably cooler. Now, I'm not going to be surprised if we're kind of overreacting, saying lows in the 50s with highs in the 70s, because this time of the year, those kind of systems do modify a bit, but it certainly is looking like it will be at least a refreshing change of uh, atmosphere for us by the mid-stages of next week. Great evening to come out to the Heart of Texas Fair at the Extra Co Events Center here in Waco. A lot going on. Of course, the Midway is open. You've got all the vendors here. Uh, you've got the Wild West Marketplace over in the exhibit halls. You don't want to miss that. That's some really cool, cool Western stuff going on there. Uh, we've got the HEB Buddies Petting Zoo, and you've got the Extra Co Kids Zone as well. Kids Safe. Speaking of safety, if you are concerned about security in view of recent uh, events, be Rest assured that there are plenty of Waco police and McLennan County Sheriff's deputies on patrol here on the ground. So it's kid friendly, family friendly. Come on out and see us. We'll have more on the weather coming up tonight at 10 and we'll be back out here tomorrow. Heart of Texas Fair. Can I get some funnel cake? And a corn dog with mustard. He, <laughs> he can't hear us. I've been here seven years. He's <laughs> not going to bring you anything back. Trust me. What about fried Oreos? He's not bringing mm. anything back. Those are so good. So bad.